Today I'm going to walk you through Wix's pricing and show you all the main differences with each plan. Not only that, I will also go and show you how you get to save a ton of money with them. We are talking about hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Plus, I will go and give you a real life examples where and when you want to go and use specific plans. So let's start it. If you want to go with Wix free website, that's completely fine, but you will have some limitations. So let's take a look at them. And as you can see, we are in a Wix dashboard with free trial. This means that we have access to all the features inside here. But if you want to use some of those, we would need to go and upgrade. But you can still start playing around with Wix completely for free. Now, with that said, free plan comes with some limitation. As you can see, we will be stuck with this ugly domain structure in here using wixsite.com, which is not advised to have. Now, you will also be having permanently this Wix branding all over your site. And in terms of SEO, so people looking for your website on Google, Google does not like those type of free websites. So they will go and punish you in ranking and it can be hard for people to go and try to find you. So that's why I wouldn't recommend it for nearly anything. There can be some exceptions. For example, if you are very much on budget and you are working on some wedding website, I think people can overlook these banners. And also, if you're just playing around and trying something new, you get to go with free trial. It's completely fine. Now let's take a look at some core features that are shared across all paid plans. As you can see, we will have access to all the templates with every single plan inside here. And we also will get our custom free domain name for free for the first year. This only applies if you are buying a yearly plan. With monthly plan, you are not gonna be able to get a free domain. In terms of renewal for domain, we are looking at about $16 a year, which is around three to $4 above industry standard. But since it's a yearly price, it might not be worth for many people to go and try to connect it and go through all the hustle. Now, also important to mention is that whenever you see prices like this, they do not include a value added text. This is going to be added to your subtotal when you are about to pay. So just keep this in mind. Now, let's take a look at the actual plans inside here. And yes, a couple of them, in my opinion, are completely fake plans that you would never want to go with. So let's start with the light plan, the cheapest one. Is it worth it? Well, the cheapest option inside here includes free domain. If you go with the real plan, as with everything, you will also get around two gigabytes of storage, which is enough for about 2000 images. So it shouldn't be that big of a problem. Now, that sounds all good, but the plan has some serious limitation. For example, you cannot sell any products in there. You also cannot take bookings. You don't have access to features like Wix restaurant. So if you have idea for some specific business website or you want to use some additional features, Lightplan is not for you. The only way I see people using Lightplan is if you are creating a very simple portfolio website, just showcasing your work, this can be a great choice for you. You don't need to go and overpay. If you are doing some basic wedding website and you don't want to have all the logos and advertisements in there, this is also enough for you. Or even if you're making very small business website, this can still be sufficient. But if you have higher plans or if you want to go and earn some money from your website, this is not a plan for you. And even though the light plan is looking like a good deal, I will show you how you get to go and get the core plan for the price of light plan with a special discount. So you don't want to miss this. In my opinion, what they are doing here is they are just trying to use this as a kind of decoy pricing to go and promote the two important ones. And they are basically doing the same thing, but the opposite way with our next, the most expensive pricing, because it is such an overkill that you should never even consider. It will give you some features that 99, basically nobody would ever need. For example, they give you 100 contributor slots for your website. This is just such an overkill. You will never have 100 people, 100 different people working on your website. This will just not happen. And if you have those giant websites, they are not using Wix. So we don't need to worry about it. Now also you can list 50,000 dropshipping products in there, but you will never, never be having 50,000 different products on a website. They're just too much for anybody to actually use. You will be also getting some multiple advanced lead form features, some integration and some performances boost. But 
this is not worth it. If you are running such a huge eShop, you should definitely go with Shopify or even your custom solution. Wix is not a good choice. Now, also, in my opinion, they are just using this to make it as a decoy pricing. So you can see that they want us to focus on those two main categories in here. So let's take a look at it. Let's compare the core versus the business plan because those two actually make some sense. So in terms of the core plan, the cheaper one, well, you will be getting 50 gigabytes of storage. Now, this is more than enough for 98% of people, so you would not need to worry about this. Now, you are also getting some basic e-commerce functionality in here. You can go and sell physical products. You can have digital downloads. You can have some services. You can take bookings and use premium Wix apps like Wix hotels or bookings or even restaurants. So if you are making some specific website and you cannot see the features in your life plan, this is probably the best plan that you can go. If you're running some type of business website or you want to sell some products, this is the entry level. The core is the best plan for you. In terms of business plan, the one they're actually recommending to you, I do not see as much added value inside here. But if you are running larger, mainly international e-commerce store, you will get some benefits from it. For example, some automated sales tax multi currency support, which can be very useful if you are in some congested market. For example, in Europe, you want to have multiple currencies in there. You will also be able to have some loyalty tiers in here and you will have more dropshipping related options in there as well. But still, here's the thing. I do not think that building a large online store and doing it with Wix is a good combination. So for this reason, I would not actually recommend you to go with a business plan, even though Wix is trying to go and recommend it to you. I would go and highly suggest you to go and stick with core plan. It is the most beneficial one for you. But let me actually show you how you get to save a lot of money and actually get the core plan for the price of the light plan. Let's take a look at it. Now, if you want to go and save a lot of money in here, there are actually tricks because Wix, they're regularly running some promotion for certain people. If you just go to Wix, you just Google it, go there and start up your free trial, you will not get as many discounts pushed at you because Wix thinks that you already know about them, you went there directly and they don't need to go and nurture you as much. So they will try to make sure that you are paying the full price. But if you are actually using someone else's links and you go and sign up for free trial for those, they are actually a little bit more scared probably because they think that you are still not decided that much. So they will go and aggressively push you all the best discounts in here. As you can see in this example, I just set it up completely new account by clicking on my link and you can see they're automatically applying 50% discount for you. So you get to go and save a lot of money in here. And you can see the core plan is basically the price of a light plan inside here. And you get to go and choose between a monthly plan, yearly, two years and three year plan. Now with monthly, you will not get any discounts in here, but with the yearly plan, you get to see all the discounts. I wouldn't suggest you to go as far as a three year plan. I think it's a little too much commitment, but one year or two year are the sweet spot where you want to go and be. And also don't worry if you don't see it in the first time, it will go and give you the discounts later. So my advice, never pay the full price. Go and sign up by using my link in the description or you can go to lucanos.com forward slash Wix and it will automatically take you to that website. You can go and sign up with the free trial in there. And once you want to go and upgrade to have your website being published live with custom domain, you get to go and pay for it in there. I would personally recommend you the core plan. I wouldn't go with their recommendation. And I think the other two options, they are clearly a decoy to try to make more money off you. So this would be my advice how to go and save the most amount of money inside here. Now, I hope this video you're going to go and find useful. If you have any information, you can leave them down in the comments and I will try to answer them. This is everything from me. Have a nice day and goodbye.